Hey everyone, it's Daphne from Scrap and Crate, and I'm back to finish up this album. We are on page eight. Page eight. I've selected this paper from the 8x8 pad, and it's going to become our base. And I mentioned on page seven that I might not have enough paper to cover completely cover the waterfalls, and I do. So I'm going to go back and do that, but you're going to have to watch that in the walkthrough. Um, and just know, and I'll that um, I chose my papers to cover the waterfall um, after I built page eight. So I went back at the very end and used what I had to cover the waterfalls. So we're on page eight, build eight. Okay, so that's a nice, I have to make sure it's right side up. Nice, simple mat. And then this is cut from the 12 by 12 collection. I just love this little guy and I knew I wanted to use him somewhere. So it's going to go here. Um, this is six by six. And I just cut that corner out and I used this paper someplace else. And it's going to go here. I took an 11 inch piece of paper, added the six by six, scored it at six. And so this is under six inches. I think it is uh, four and seven eighths, four and seven eighths. So you can still get a four by six here. And then this is six by six. So again, this is just an 11 inch, an eight and a half by 11, trimmed down six to 11, which is a little unusual, but since I'm so shy on paper, um, particularly larger sizes, that's one of the reasons I did it, <clears throat> to um, minimize some of the color blocking, although I do have to do some color blocking on the inside anyway. All right, that's just going to, I'm eyeballing it, be centered. <clears throat> For some reason, I... Yeah, my magnet's really sticky. Okay, now uh, this is also from the 8x8. It's going to go right here. Very pretty. Okay, I'm going to do a little color blocking here. So this came off here. So this was eight inches wide. So that's six. Here's the other two. It's going to go right here. And then I'm going to put a color block right there. Okay, and this is what I'm going to use right here. And it looks like it's, and this just happened when I was picking through my scraps. It's literally the perfect size. Just happened to be that way. I didn't have to trim it at all. Well, actually, that's not true. I had to trim the height, <clears throat> but not the width. Okay. I love this red. I wish there was tons of it. It makes it easier to layer when you have something that looks uh, visually more like a solid. Okay, so... Push that down around the magnet. We burnish that a little bit. Seemed like it was wanting to pop up. <clears throat> Very simple, clean looking page. That's page eight. And I'm going to call it for the album. Next time we get together, I'll be doing a walkthrough. See you soon.